Hello again everybody and welcome to this video of a ballpoint elephant that I'm drawing. I've shown you pretty much halfway here because I wasn't sure if it was going to turn out good or not because I'm not really a master at ballpoint. I've been using it off and on and I really really wanted to do an elephant. I think I said it in the last video. Um, it's turning out pretty good. I've got a reference photo, but it's um, I've only been following like the really dark areas because I want to do it my own way with the ballpoints, like lots of cross hatching and stuff. It's turning out pretty well. I mean, the only problem I've got is with these big crystals; they tend to go a bit bluish in colour when you go really heavy. I mean, it's a, there's a block up here, it's a bit blue there's some down here which I can't really fix and the other one I've been using is I was using a bit fine, the orange one but it ran out so now I just picked this up from the side and started using this and it's got a, a little bit of a thicker nib to a bit fine and smaller than that one and it's been working out quite well, I did all this high here in this one so it's it's pretty nice you mainly use this one to do the blocking out and obviously the the gradients like in this corner here for zoom in. If you can see it here, where I've done the details and then I've gone across with the the crystal. I'm pouring a nice um, nice gradient shadow and there's some up here as well. Well yeah it's turned out pretty well so far. Um I've been going for Probably got 20 hours already, and I don't even know if I'm halfway. I was going to say halfway was at the, like, the bottom of the year, but <laughs> well, yeah, it's um, <clears throat> ball ballpoint takes a very long time. It's ridiculous how long it takes. You think it'd be so much quick because you haven't got to do like, well, <laughs> like a pencil shading where you've got to go in with a rubber, lift it all off, and all that stuff. It's it's different because you, you're there constantly like then you change direction you change direction again in the same area to build up to build up your dark to your light obviously you draw wider lines to create your lighter parts I mean any there is faint lines where I've just gone really light kind of like how you draw hair to show with all really light creases and then I've gone really thick in here to show the definition, when it goes black, the gradients again, then you've got like the, the wrinkles and folds in the bottom of his ear, which I've got to do on this side. Yeah, I think the main trunk is going to be odd because that's all, it's like a lever in it, like, like lots of cracks, but it should look quite nice, just set it off. Yeah, so this is going to be a time lapse video, but I just wanted to show, you know, what you'll be watching. Um, so I hope you like it. Stick around to the end because when it's done I will show you around what I've done. Try to explain how I've done it.
So that's my ballpoint elephant finished. I hope you like the video. Um, I've, there's a few good and bad points I've had using it. Um, mainly to do with this bit crystal because it didn't stay black. It went like a like a weird steely blue colour. You, you can probably see it like around here, around the eye, here. Which you know, kind of annoyed me because when I started using like the big fine or this ballpoint I just found around the house, they stayed jet black. So you've got like patches of jet black next to blue and whatever. And once I started using this, I'm gonna have to keep using it, otherwise it just wouldn't look right. You'd have a patch of blue for no reason. So um, yeah, that's the only problem. Yeah, so because that happened, I thought I'd put some like. I put some blue dust in at the bottom. I did this with pan pastel. Yeah, to kind of tie it into the blue on the elephant because I want it to look like it might be there, even though it wasn't meant to be there. And the other problem was in this area. I kind of that's I kind of messed up because because it's ink. You know, once you've messed up, you messed up. You can't get it off. So we had to like gouache over his nose, make it white and then go over it again. Um, that they were the only bad points really. Other than that I really love using it. It took me about 63 hours to finish which has smashed any record I've ever had drawing anything. Because <laughs> it takes so long with all the, all the cross hatching, it's not just like very shading, it's like Shade this way, shade that way, shade that way, shade this way, shade that way, shade that way. You have to you build up the shadow. It's alright when you've got block, black parts here, bearing here, there, there. You just go like that, scribble it in. But, like I said, it's not about the finished piece, it's about the journey. <laughs> like I said, I, I, I love spending hours on things, it's, it's great. Especially when it turns out quite nice. But like I said, if you didn't, if you didn't go blue, it would have been perfect. I wasn't going to put the blue dust in the bottom at first, but it kind of looks nice now. Yeah. You can see where it's like where I've used like the fine in there, but it's gone really black. And here, it was blue, and I started going with the fine in there to try and get the blue out because it's done it right, which made that trunk set off from it, which. You know, I've learned my lesson. It's drawn on a Bristol board. I did use a reference photo for it, but I want to go my own way with it because it's a piece of artwork the other day. As long as it looks real, then you, you've done a bit of realism, haven't you? Obviously I want to keep these tusks white as well. So when I put the blue dust in I rubbed out all the uh, all the pan pastel off it. So yeah, I mean I started up here, I probably spent the most time here figuring out how I was gonna do it. Because by the time I got to here, I knew I wanted to do that bit. And when I got to here I'm like, oh I should have done that like this. <laughs> so I learned a lot doing it. I learned what what I can do and what I can't do. And I will be using it again but not for a while because it takes so long. Um, hope you like this video, hope you like this elephant. Please like and subscribe, I'll do more videos. Thank you so much for watching.